Hello everyone, welcome to another channel update video. I haven't done one of these in some time now and well I do have new projects planned and I thought this would be a good opportunity to announce them. So uh, yeah, I guess let's start with them. So first of all, I'm building a SMUF. So uh, the name is a little weird but uh, yeah, this is basically a, a Prusa, Prusa, whatever it is, the correct pronunciation, MMU2 and a slightly different form factor. It started as a pretty much as a simplified clone of that here. So this is the old project. I think this went up to V3 and V4. He changed to servos. So yeah, here is the newer version. The version with the servos, uh, as far as I know, the advantage is simplification of the design and also as far as I can tell based on comparing the bombs this ended up being a lot cheaper I don't know if it was specific to my case or not but uh, yeah and well I guess I probably should have already explained what an MMU2 is it's basically a filament feeder thing so you feed up to five filaments in the version that I'm building you can uh, scale this unlimitedly, the servo variant. The original variant you can scale up to 9 filaments if I remember correctly. And uh, it just feeds uh, one extruder to the one, well, one hot end and yeah, it lets you do multi filament prints. Especially useful for uh, multi color prints with the same filament, though if you're. Uh, if you can get filaments that are, have similar. Uh, thermal characteristics you can use them uh, as well so you can use either TP or TPU with uh, PLA I think for example though I'm not sure how well it would work with the Bowden in this case um, that what I just said was referring to something I heard from Palette which is another uh, alternative to this Palette basically cuts the filament and splices them together this instead feeds them in a separate line, so that's the difference. But uh, pallets are pretty expensive, so uh, yeah. this is what I went with. So uh, yeah, I guess I summarize the information here. So uh, yeah, I'm building a SMUF V5. V5 is the newest version. One thing I don't like about this project at the moment is he doesn't offer V5 downloads directly. It goes up to 4.75 and. Uh, which is normally fine, it's in development, I understand that, but uh, he is basically selling it and calling it a donation, that's what I don't like, that's that basically my only complaint there. He, it's his work, he can sell it, I don't have a problem with that. But uh, yeah, he's calling it a donation and that's how you can get uh, files, so I'm not too happy about that, but still I gave the guy some money and I now have the STL files, so as soon as I received my parts from AliExpress, I ordered them on the 11.11 sale. Uh, I will start printing and building this. I'm not sure which printer I'm going to put this on. And uh, I could just put a V0 size unit next to my V0 and uh, have all, the, all five filaments there and the unit there. And I could probably just create a config file for this so I could easily detach it from the Clipper configuration and run it standalone. So that would also make life easier on the V2. I'd probably have to do some permanent mods where I probably wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be as easy to remove from the V2. So yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. But uh, my opinion could change. Also, there are a few expansion options for this. You can see there are a bunch of stuff like this is a filament buffer. There are uh, like control boxes, custom electronics. Uh, and uh, stuff like that. I'm not gonna start with any of that, but uh, in the long run, I, I'll probably build a few of those as well. But again, I just started with the base configuration, and well, you can see that uh, slow down the video or just go to the, this page. The bomb is pretty simple, you just need two Nema 17s, one's a pancake, a servo and a bunch of screws etc. The most expensive component is uh, BMG gears. You need a set of BMG gears for each filament and since I'm building a 5 filament version 
you need five plus I think you needed one more uh, I'm not sure either five or six uh, yeah that's that's the only thing I'm chipping out on because well as you know genuine bone things are really expensive and even the triangle lab bones are pretty expensive so I'm chipping out on those hopefully it won't be too big of a deal I bought them from big three tech uh, no not big three tech two big three stack pq no not that two threes uh, <laughs> sorry about that uh, two threes which is just a random chinese thing and they seem to be just copying big three tech so i don't expect their products to be the same quality as big three tech but uh, yeah it will probably do the job and uh yeah that's one thing i'm building I think I told long about about this. Oh, actually, one more thing. Uh, Clipper does work with Smuff. It does work with MMU2, MMU2S, and whatever else Prusa comes up with. But uh, Smuff doesn't have any documentation for Clipper, and uh, yeah, it might be a bit more complicated to configure this on the Clipper as well. So once I'm done with this if I can get everything to work well I'll definitely release a configuration file uh, it's just at least just mine but maybe even uh, example config I don't know yet because uh, yeah the documentation uh, even with MMU2 isn't that great for Clipper with Smuff but there really isn't much to go on so uh, yeah this will definitely take some time so uh, to save you time if you're doing the same thing I'll release the information when I'm done with it uh, another thing I'm building is I'm printing a MP. I'm building a MPCNC. MPCNC is a pretty cheap uh, 3D printed uh, CNC machine option. So uh, yeah, it looks like this. I'm not going to print them um, in red and black. I probably just go with gray and black or just black. I don't know yet. And uh, yeah, you can engrave, cut, etc. Wood, aluminium, uh, the most stuff really. Probably you can't do steel, but it should be good, good enough for aluminium, especially at least based on what I've read. So, uh, yeah, it's again pretty cheap. So, for Americans, it looks like it's like $400. For me, it's a bit more because, of course, it is because of our taxes, but uh, still, it's not that expensive for a CNC that is. So, uh, yeah, this is also in the works. I ordered some of the parts on the 11 sale on AliExpress as well. But uh, this will come later because uh, I couldn't order everything. So uh, yeah, this will take a few months probably to do. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely ordering parts for this. So this will definitely happen. The reason I chose the uh, MP CNC over uh, other CNC options, like I could have gone with uh, Print NC for example. And this is a better design uh, in terms of the quality and it uses uh, it uses bolt screws and it uses linear rails just like our Vorons and uh, it's also a more rigid frame so this is definitely a superior design but it does come at a cost and I just couldn't justify that so I went with uh, MPCNC but if you have a thing this uh, build will cost you 1000 to 1500 something like that this is definitely a better option. You can also scale this a lot larger than the MPCNC. Though for that there is also the lowrider option for if you really want to stick with MPCNC. And there are other options that don't really uh, incorporate 3D printing in them, like the WorkB or the Xcarve and plenty of others as well. Uh, I wanted to 3D print, so these two are basically the largest projects out there. And well, as I said, I went with. Uh, and PCNC mostly because of the cost and uh, yeah again this is coming in a few months SMUF will probably take a little over a month but this will take a bit more because I don't have I didn't even order most of the parts yet but uh, it's coming so uh, yeah that's that uh, next uh, I'll mention the ADXL345 accelerometer stuff so uh, that thing has been delayed multiple times but uh, again I'm working on it and this is one thing that I'm 
designed. Now this is actually uh, somewhat old, this is from October. I actually revised the design quite a bit since then, but this is a... Uh, uh, I have a Maple Mini in, in there. I'll also try to make this compatible with blue pills as well. I'm trying to... I'll, I'll buy a blue pill, they're relatively cheap anyway, and uh, make the design compatible with that as well. So uh, this is just a quick way of mounting the uh, MCU and the ADXL345 to the, uh, the afterburner in this case. I also have a V0 mount as well. Now uh, theoretically this should all work, but in my case the Maple Mini I have in there it is it was dead on arrival uh, for some reason uh, the USB connection on it isn't working even with the stock firmware it's not working and I flashed it with the STM32 Duino for a clipper it's not working with that either and it's not just the USB connection I also tried just uh, wiring directly into the D plus and minus uh, so uh, yeah that's not working through that either so this Maple Mini is that and that's kind of what delayed this specific thing and overall it's also delaying the rest of the ADXL345 videos as well but uh, there is another thing I did in between which isn't practical at all and it is pretty expensive but I wanted to try uh, wanted to try some electronics design piece, proper PCB design instead of just connectors and stuff like that so yeah this is my first uh, at least first produced uh, electronics PCB so this is a, the first board that I have with components is what I mean so uh, yeah this has a again a, what was the chip name uh, STM 32 F103 something or another the same CPU on the uh, Maple Mini and uh, it has the supporting stuff that you need plus it has the same maple mini usb protection not that necessary but i basically copied the maple mini schematic for this so that's why they're there uh, blue pill for example doesn't use this theoretically you should but at the same time you don't really need it and you can save some cost without them so uh, yeah there's that but uh, yeah you can see that it's a pretty simple design and this is for mounting the same uh, ADXL345 PCB on top of here with just pin headers and the whole spacing is here is also the same so you can just use standoffs and mount this to the afterburner or your V0 or anything else you want that's the plan I ordered two of these from JLC PCB assembled so they should be here in a few weeks and I'll probably do my testing with this but uh, I'll definitely get this working as well. I just need to buy a blue pill for the design and another Maple Mini to just get this thing work. And uh, yeah, when I start releasing the ADXL345 videos in the corner, you will probably see some old dates. And that's because, well, again, I've been working on these for videos for a while now. It's just none of them are at a state where I can release them yet. But uh, yeah, the videos are coming. And uh, uh, yeah, the, as again, assembly soldering on this will be done by JLC, PCB. I'll just have to solder the pin headers and since then they don't solder connectors. I uh, went with true hole USB-C here, so I'll have to solder that one myself as well. Uh, yeah, just I guess I'll mention that quickly. Uh, I went with USB-C because it is a more uh, robust connector. The gantry, when doing the testing, will be moving around at a pretty high speed and uh, honestly the USB micro will probably still be fine, especially because you're not supposed to run this for that long, but uh, I really don't like micro, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, have a more robust connector and that's why I went with USB-C. The Gerbers of this I will still release once it is tested, but uh, Again, this really isn't that practical of a solution, so uh, definitely keep that in mind. The practical and cheaper solution is just build something like this. And again, the video about this will be coming to the channel. And uh, just checking if there is anything else. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I don't think there is anything else I wanted to mention, so uh, yeah, just to sum up, I'm building a SMUF, which is an MMU2 type of uh, thing, uh, MPCNC. ADXL videos are in the works, including this one, and I also have a custom PCB design that will be released uh, soon-ish as well. Again, all of this stuff will be coming in a few months, not just tomorrow, so be patient, but definitely know that they're in the works. And uh, yeah, I hope you're excited for the uh, content that's coming to the channel. If you are, please leave me a like down below, and thanks for watching. Or listening, I guess.